Some of the major developments we are tracking right now, more than 5.4 million COVID cases now confirmed in the U.S. with at least 171,000 American lives lost. More than 68 million tested throughout this country. With me here starting us off is ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton. And this is interesting, Jen. There mm -hmm. is a news now about a potential treatment for COVID-19 that involves the use of Horse antibodies. Tell us more. Exactly. Please. So this is under the umbrella of immune therapy. There's research being done right now in Costa Rica and Argentina that was inspired by the work they had done on treating snake bite poisoning with anti venom treatments. Uh, they are using now horses that have been injected with part of the spike protein of SARS CoV 2. And then, very similarly to what we're doing here in the US and people, they then draw the blood from the horse, extract these antibodies. Then it goes to an industrial process of purifying these antibodies. Uh, then they sent them to the National Center for Biodefense and Infectious Disease at George Mason University in Virginia to be tested. Their findings were that these antibodies neutralize the coronavirus. Wow. So really, really interesting results. Wow, interesting yeah. to say the least and uh, promising as well in terms of treatment. So what yeah. are some of the next steps and what are the advantages of this type of technology? So the advantages, I mean, first of all, the next steps which are really exciting is that this is moving into accelerated clinical trials beginning next month in hospitalized but not ICU patients with COVID-19 uh, in South America. This approach is using something called polyclonal antibodies. We've heard about mono, monoclonal antibodies. Basically, what this means is that these antibodies, they're less specific. They recognize multiple sites on the coronavirus. So the advantages of that, because they're less specific, they are much less expensive and easier to manufacture. We have to remember part of this manufacturing process is actually being done by the horses and the good news for any animal lovers out there and we of course care about um, good research right. being done this way is that there have been no reports of horse sickness at this time um, but really promising and we're going to be following it. We know you will. Thank yep. you very much yeah. Jen. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.